Hello, my name is Jaime Santos Júnior and I'm a professor in the Department of Sociology at Federal University of Paraná. And I will talk about the article I have published with my colleague, Professor Marilda Menezes, from the Department of Human and Social Science at Federal University of ABC, São Paulo, in the journal Educação e Sociedade, entitled Stories of Militant Women from the Perspective of Families, Political Engagements. In it, we address the issues of the transmissions of political passions in the families of former union activists. The research is a continuation of a previous project that we had carried out that made a comparative analysis of union practice and strikes instigated by the metallurgists in São Paulo, as well as in ABC Paulista, and by the sugarcane worker in Pernambuco at the end of the 70s. As we were unveiling the data, we came across an unsettling discovery. This seems to be a silence process concerning the history of women who took part in the in this, in this strikes. The fact itself was not new, given that sexual inequality at work was rampant during those years and the different demands which fell upon women in the context of union action. At this juncture, we follow the lead of fellow researchers, Elizabeth Sousa Lobo, Helena Irata, John Humphrey, among others, who have already documented this cleavage. We found the permanence of the science process very intriguing, even after 40 years had passed since the events and manifest themselves in the record of memories. In other words, the disputes are at that time had to do with the recognitions of the demands of women workers that we were subsuming under the broader umbrella of class struggle, defined in terms of their masculine counterparts. Now, the disputes were for the legitimacy of their testimony, to see themselves as an integral part of that story. It was then that we decided to move away from the context of union of the family settings as the locals of manifestation of these memories under the assumptions that they were an explanatory part of this appearance silence, of an experience as a drama. Along with the displacements we have also incorporated a new perspective to understand the accounts of the sons and daughters of these women union members through the lens of political affections. The idea was to understand, in the process of generational transmission, what was lost and what remained in terms of symbolic or emotional goods under the influence of the legacy of militants in these families. By doing so, we are assuming that maintaining political affection required the permanent renew of reference. The research suggests that in the family realm, tensions operate exactly in the dilemmas associated with the change of the frame of reference that had forged the parents' militants. Very different conjunctural scenarios, such as political, economic and social, had a bearing on how the sons and daughters engaged with their family's political heritage, which was not so much expressed in terms of the content of the political choice, although radical ruptures have also occurred, but in terms of the intensity of the political affections. There was clear recognition of the parent trajectories, but an apparent detachment from the original passion. The signals are a process the sign of a process of individualization and fragmentations of the forms of political engagements that borders on detachment or indifference toward the political in a broader sense. Thus, it was clear that we need to move forward with our research to understand the influence, the influence for example, of religion and social network in this process. There are lies challenges that are ahead of us as we continue our research. Thank you.